welcome to Lakeland version number two. This is a take on the default 4v4 map and it is made or changed by Mr. Thompson. I'll show you all the details later on and this will be added to the 2v2 tournament roster. And we have Nat Nat and Pig P3000 on one team up against Simers and Jutska on the USA team. So teams aren't particularly balanced, so Pig Pig isn't as experienced as the other three players. Hopefully Nat Nat can do some justice. But anyways, this game is to cast and check out the map really. Uh, let's have a look at the flag positions. No, they're not too bad. They look fine. As down over here we have on the right, or southern point, a few different buildings. You can see that's a new building, the ruins. Uh, flag positions obviously have changed for 2v2. So just take a nice look at the building changes. And well, that, uh, that barn has a side taken off. Uh, flag, this looks in a relatively similar spot. Uh, center point looks quite similar as well. That log though is new in the middle. I, I probably missed a few other things. Oh, there's cover at the back in the center. And over here, cover at the back here, there too. So it's quite far actually from the center point. That's interesting. And this point looks relatively similar. The middle, middle side flags look quite similar. And this flag is different with uh, a flag being on the house. Uh, that's interesting. Thompson said the flag should be about here. So maybe uh, he was wrong. But anyway, uh, let's see what happens. In the center, we have the Rangers by Simers storming the point first and being flanked by possibly some Panzer Grenadiers. Not doing too well so far in the shootout. Definitely can't compete with the Rangers at the moment. And back over here we have Pig Pig capping with also, no, it's just an assault squad, I believe. Yep, it is an assault squad. And Simon's struggling to get the point. Looks like he may be able to take it though. There's only two guys left. The Rangers are coming as well. So the Rangers in the center may be able to swing to the right. They're actually firing down to this position as well. So I uh, should get it with the firepower. And yep, there we go. So Simon's has got the center and right. And over this point, Pig has got, got it with a few assault squad guys. And one M1 Grand by Simers for line of sight. But potentially a push here from Simers with three elite, three uh, riflemen and another full... Oh, it's a conscript squad. Interesting. Uh, numbers should be able to do the job. But let's see if Pig can get some ambushing happen happening. Maybe he's just going to use this guy for line of sight. Or point blank shooting. Oh no, M1 Grand to the face. So in the northern point, let's see what's happening here. We have uh, Nat Nat uh, with one guy left and has been dispatched by Jutska's riflemen. So Jutska did go, uh, I think he went a regular squad start. No, he went on the assault squad start, it seems. As Nat Nat is trying to storm the position right now. With his assault squad, I believe. Uh, doing okay, but uh, in a shootout versus the Emma Garands in the open. Need to make a bit of an impact now. Jutska notices the grenade and will uh, get the grenade off first, perhaps. Um, does not. Nat Nat returning the favor now. And fails. So, uh, wow. <laughs> All the flags are going to... The USA team, as kind of suspected, they're definitely the better skilled players. Just having a look how this plays, basically, not really a balanced team game at the moment, as Simon is wiping the floor of Pig Pig with Micro at the moment. And now even flanking from this position on the roadway, but early 2 2 2 from Pig Pig. They maybe need some more line of sight, though, to do more impact. There's nothing in front of the 2 2 2 right now to actually spot the infantry hiding and waiting. But looks like uh, Simon is falling back a bit. Uh, kind of uh, doing okay, not too much damage. Should definitely be mopping the floor as quick as possible before something counters. Like the Stuti from Jutska is potentially now running to the center point to counter that 2 to 2. And also on the left here, we have a looks, and that the spells doom here. Now, this Stuart is going to be the king of the field and is going to take out those two units if used correctly. Oh, nice micro by Pig Pig. Superbly time grenade takes out Jutska's uh, or Nat Nat's unit. So he still holds on, Nat Nat manages to get this point, but still in contention with Jutska trying to micro the grenades back. Looks right there. 2-2 two, two going in the center. Rangers hiding behind that uh, big stone, or well, stone brick building. And here is the Stuart now going to go counter that looks. Let's hit, see it, take the first shot. Bam! Oh, just missed. That's... Easy put away. No, he's going to run behind that other house, and that, that's doing quite well. To, oh, wow, what a shot through a bit of the housing area. That must have been in DC. Oh, here's the chance to escape. Perhaps not, though, because of the Stuart. The Stuart's quite accurate. Oh, no, he has actually escaped. That building just withstood the entire AP shell shot, and this building doesn't look like it's easy, easy to penetrate. So, 
So he may be able to escape, just could potentially might uh, be able to shoot the roofs to make the building collapse. Oh wow. MP40 just took out the machine gunner. The Panzer Grenadier MP40. Did you see that? Had full health almost and just took it out. Very interesting. Here is the looks and Stuart duel. Nothing happening so far. And we see on the right another Stuart buy from uh, the USA team with Simons taking out the 222. Uh, Peak Peak in the meantime has got the majority, has got the flag back in fact because of that bank of the Stuart. Uh, Mr. Simons doesn't have that much MP. Uh, now he's going to start pushing back now with the one pointer. 30 cal squad. Uh, meanwhile, the looks and the Stuart standoff is still happening. Looks being quite ineffective right now. There's no line of sight. Lucky Jutska doesn't have an SMG guy right here to throw a grenade to the side. But here's reinforcements from Nat Nat. Assault squad coming up. Oh, that was a nasty one. And now he should be able to capture this point. With this Stuart being quite helpless right now, Nat Nat's doing a very good job actually hiding that Stuart. And Jutska needs to hunt it down ASAP. Let's see what the speed is, got how the speed is. Is it's going pretty fast. Oh, it's going frontal, which is good. Oh, misses the first shot. This is not good. Still, it's still running away. Oh no. Oh, through the barn, perhaps. Through the barn. Just go through the barn. Oh, nice shot. Do you see that? Fantastic. Takes it out through the barn. Skill, skill shot right there. As Simus has cleaned up with the conscripts. So a lot of conscripts being used by Simus. Proving to be quite effective in combination, I guess, with uh, other more powerful units. Just for line of sight, providing the numbers and I guess you can call it a meat shield, but it's not really a good meat shield because of the hit points. It's just extra extra men on the field, I guess. It does uh, make the enemy uh, think you got more than you have, as Pig Pig is now struggling to take the flag back, or take any flags on the eastern side of the map. And here is a P3 though, standard counter for the Stuart, should be able to take it out. Backfield we have another P3 from Nat, so both of them going the same unit. Uh, just gets, gonna try and micro Nat Nat off the map in the northern point, and yep. So the left is held by Nat Nat, not doing not doing bad at all. The German team, sixteen to three, they actually are in in it to to win it. Perhaps is this these two P3s will be able to counter the croc, so counter the Stuart. But then the question is when the croc comes out, will be danger time for the USA team. There's, they are getting the flags back so slightly now, as the right is going to Summers. Let's see the P3 hunt that Stuart perhaps. Stuart's actually going to go throughout this building. This is, this is what you do, guys. Uh, when you know the counter's coming, you go down to an area where you can 50-50 it. Without Simons is now going to the building area where the P3 can't actually take it out. It's going to approach the P3 where it is in close range, where anyone can win. Like right now, APC around is probably loaded. Simons for the shot. Oh, misses, and oh, gets put away, so that was a 50-50 player, anyone could have probably won that. But nice angle by Pig Pig, you can see it's a pretty optimal angle. See that building angle right there, blocking the side, so it could it could kind of turn its side exposed to the Stuart, because that building was actually blocking his side right there. Very, very nice by Pig Pig, showing he is a not bad player. Um, so 1v1 tournament is, st uh, sorry, 1v1 league, it's not league, sorry, again, 1v1 ladder is starting soon. It's going to last forever basically. It's going to be it's just probably replace matchmaking pretty much. Uh, so you just play whoever you can. Oh, sorry. You play people above you, your rank. Um, up to five ranks above you. And you can just challenge them. And if you win, you take the spot. And it's ongoing for forever basically. So there is no really real winner. It's just uh, having a lot of GG's with people around your rank. And after maybe around three months, uh, I'm going to host a tournament which will uh, decide who who wins, I guess, the first season of the top eight. So I'll get the top eight from that ladder and uh, do a tournament based on that because this 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 ladder is, isn't really a tournament. It's more like a, a ladder where you just play and have GGs. So uh, it's hosted by Pringles. If you want to join, it's, it basically can join at any time. So if you join in, in a week or two weeks in a month's time, you just start at the bottom of the ladder and you can work your way up, work, you work your way up the ladder. And it's up to 30, um, I think it's 30 plays so far. And so that means you, if, if you want to work your way up, you have to win, you have to challenge people five above you. You can pretty much get to the top in about three games if you're any good. Uh, but back here we have, sorry about that, you got the half track coming down by Summers. Uh, total wipe now, we see uh, the Crocs, uh, Crocs are out, yep, they're out. The USA team haven't bought any yet. I guess Summers would have the CP for it. Here's the first Croc out by Summers, there it goes. Another croc out by uh, Jutska. P3, I'm going to try to take out the half track. 
doing a decent job standing, um, covering behind the hill right now. And won't be able to... PC will be able to take a shot. Marine make it a lucky run. Wow. No one's actually hitting the Marine. What the? Oh no, now it is. Oh no, too, too low, too slow. And there you go. Wow, this guy's taking a long time to get killed. The hard track's down, but here's the croc. Nat Nat holds on to the one point the... Oh, the German team has and tracked unluckily. And now will be an easy put away for the croc. P3 can't possibly penetrate at this range and there you go. Nice flow by the USA team and in this end too, we'll see the same thing. <laughs> Standard counters, P3 taken out by that uh, croc. But interesting, um, interesting, I guess, uh, positions. You can see there's actually a tank, what do you call this, a uh, tank ditch on both ends. And they're actually quite far from the map. Let's see, this side, it's pretty far from the... Oh, what the hell? What the hell's happening here? How did this happen? Oh, wow, did he get main gun? It's reloading its APCR. Oh, no! <laughs> you got flame... Oh, it's out of sync. Oh, get lost, DMS. Anyway, this is why I haven't hosted the tournament 2v2 yet. As uh, team games do go out of sync. Uh, anyway, um, these ditches are quite far. Um, I think it doesn't really... Uh, you uh, prove much anyway uh gg guys see you around